Hi, I'm Louise. I'm an Allied Health Assistant at Great Ocean Road Health in Apollo Bay and I'm going to take you from Three Creeks Beach to Shelley Beach and through to Elliott River where as we get more into the forest there you'll see some tall trees and I wanted to show you um, some photographs as that was the area that originally attracted resident uh, timber loggers to the area to build the railroads in 1850 and some trees were up to 326 feet tall and the trunks so huge that it said that they were hollowed out to use as shelters for loggers and their horses and the top of the stumps doubled up for dance floors <laughs> fancy and then that industry declined more so by the 20s and there were no large trees remaining so it's hard to believe that area that we'll get to at the campgrounds was once a thriving little town with its own football teams and so I have an image here of some of the loggers I'm not sure if you can see that in the sun gathered around the butt of a giant eucalypt tree and then they used this is how they transported the logs back up to the mill and now oh, the Elliot River Mill and finally the Elliot football team isn't that terrific so enjoy the walk with me today <laughs> bye now which I'll show you about to start our walk up to Shelley Beach I'm Shelley. I work in community services at Great Ocean Road Health. I'm here to tell you about one of my favourite walks, which is the Elliot River Loop Walk. It's about 10 minutes drive from Apollo Bay. It takes about one to two hours, depending on how often you stop or how quickly you walk. There's lots of beautiful birds and trees, so uh, for me, often I spend the two hours here, but you can do it a lot quicker. The walk starts at Shelley Beach Car Park, which is where I am here. You start the walk by going down the, down the gully. If you're, you're in a blue gum forest, so if you're looking up, you're more than likely to see a koala, so worthwhile persisting. There's also lots of other little beautiful birds that, or um, also little swamp wallabies that you're likely to see along the way. 
As you get towards the bottom of the gully, there's a little viewing platform that you can uh, look at the Elliott River. And if it's been raining, you might see a little waterfall as well. Uh, as you're going down and also from this platform, you've got ocean view. So really nice spot for a photo. Once you proceed from that little platform, you come down to the Elliott River itself. This is quite a fun little spot. There's a little bit of flowing water all the time. You can also um, sit on some rocks and look at the ocean. And there's some stepping stones that will get you across the Elliott River. So just be prepared to, to stop. And um, I guess just take it slow as they can be a little bit slippery. Uh, once you've finished at that little spot there, you start to do the incline back up the other side of the gully. The track is well worn and the steps are quite good. So just take your time. You also get a few nice views as you, you head up there as well. From there on the left hand side, you'll come to the Elliott River campground. So that's the hikers campground. That's another little beautiful spot to sit, have something to eat and also, you know, view the birds. So the birds there are quite friendly. There's little yellow robins, fairy wrens, that type of thing so quite a nice spot they're, they're relatively friendly so I guess you can say they're used to seeing people sitting there eating their lunch at the hikers campground you've got the option to continue uh, onto the Great Ocean Walk or follow a track that's on the right hand side so that's what we want to take uh, to do the loop walk and you st once you start to follow that you see that the forest changes so we'll go from a more open scrubby forest to more of a, a I guess you can say a wetter forest. So that's one of my other favorite things about this walk is you've got a couple of different types of, uh, I guess you can say, you know, ecological spaces that you move through. So once you, you're leaving the campground, you're following that up, you're noticing that the trees are changing, you finish a little bit of incline and the last section of the walk is relatively flat. It can be a little bit wet if, you, if it's been raining. So just make sure that you've got some good boots on if there's been a little bit of rain previously. Once you come out of that space, what will then happen is that um, you'll hit the road. And if you walk down there for a minute or two, then you'll actually come back to the Shelley Beach car park, which is where you've started. Thank you. I hope you enjoy that walk as much as I do. Bye.